Number 9 Richest Family in the World is Albrecht Family. The Albrecht family are the owners of Aldi supermarkets and also the Trader Joe's chain in the US. The history of the Albrecht family, the owners of the Aldi supermarket chain and Trader Joe's in the US, is an inspiring tale of entrepreneurship, frugality, and family business management. The Albrecht family's journey began with Carl and Theo Albrecht's mother who opened a small grocery store in the Schonbeck area of Essen, Germany, in 1913. After serving in World War II, the two Albrecht brothers took over the family grocery store and developed it into a retail chain. In 1960, the brothers split the business into two separate entities, Aldi Nord, North, and Aldi Sud, South. The split was reportedly due to a disagreement over whether or not to sell cigarettes. Theo took over Aldi Nord and Carl managed Aldi Sud. Despite this separation, the two businesses followed a similar discount model that resonated with cost-conscious shoppers. Aldi Nord and Aldi Sud became known for their streamlined approach to grocery shopping. They carried a limited assortment of products, often private labels, which allowed them to sell goods at prices lower than their competitors. This model was extremely successful, leading to Aldi's expansion across Europe. In the 1970s, Aldi made its first foray into the US market, with Aldi Sud trading under the Aldi brand and Aldi Nord acquiring the Trader Joe's chain in 1979. Both brands have been successful in the US market, with Aldi's no-frills, low-cost approach, and Trader Joe's emphasis on unique, high-quality products capturing different segments of the market. Carl Albrecht, who passed away in 2014, was known as one of the richest men in the world due to the success of Aldi Sud. His brother Theo, who passed away in 2010, was not far behind in wealth, with the success of Aldi Nord and Trader Joe's contributing to his fortune. Theo's sons, Theo Jr. and Berthold, inherited his stakes in Aldi Nord and Trader Joe's. After Berthold's untimely death in 2012, his share went to his widow and children. Similarly, Carl's fortune was inherited by his children and grandchildren. The Albrecht family has historically been very private, avoiding public appearances and media attention. They are also known for their philanthropic endeavors, particularly in environmental conservation and education. As of my last update in September 2021, the Albrecht family remained among the richest families in the world. The Aldi supermarket chain and Trader Joe's continue to be popular and successful, with their unique retail approaches resonating with millions of customers around the world. Please help out the channel by subscribe and smash a like button below. This video was presented by AI Art Painting. Uplift any room's decor with art that's printed on top quality canvas gallery wraps. To learn more click the links below. Continuing with the Albrecht family history, the two separate branches, Aldi Nord and Aldi Sud, have managed to expand the Aldi brand into a worldwide presence, each in their own distinctive ways. Aldi Nord operates in the northern part of Germany and has expanded into Denmark, France, the Benelux countries, the Iberian Peninsula, and Poland. It also owns the Trader Joe's chain in the United States, which operates with a different business model than Aldi. Trader Joe's focuses on selling a curated selection of unique, often gourmet, private label products in a quirky, tropical-themed store setting. This approach has earned Trader Joe's a dedicated customer base in the US. Aldi Sud, on the other hand, operates in the southern and western parts of Germany and has international presence in the UK, Australia, and the US in these locations, Aldi Sud operates under the Aldi brand name and maintains the minimalist, low-cost, high-efficiency model that Aldi is known for. This includes smaller store footprints, a limited selection of products, mostly under their own private labels, and a no-frills shopping environment. Despite their global reach, both Aldi Nord and Aldi Sud have managed to maintain their core business ethos, offering quality products at low prices. Their success lies in their straightforward business model and an unwavering commitment to maintaining low operating costs. The heirs of Carl and Theo Albrecht have largely continued to operate in the background, out of the public eye. This is in line with the Albrecht family's long-standing preference for privacy, which extends back to the days when Carl and Theo Albrecht were managing the company. In terms of succession, Beate Heister, Carl Albrecht's daughter, and her son Peter Max Heister are known to be managing the family's wealth, which includes Aldi Sud. Meanwhile, Theo Albrecht Jr., Berthold's widow Babette, 
and their children manage Aldi Nord and hold the Trader Joe's stake. The Albrecht family has set a powerful example of how a simple and strong business model, grounded in frugality and efficiency, can lead to a global retail empire. Their history underscores the transformative power of innovative retail strategies, sustained family leadership, and a steadfast commitment to offering customers value for their money. Please help out the channel by subscribe and smash a like button below. This video was presented by AI Art Painting. Uplift any room's decor with art that's printed on top quality canvas gallery wraps. To learn more click the links below. Please note that these rankings can change frequently due to the volatile nature of wealth, investments, and business successes. For the most accurate, up-to-date information, consider consulting reputable financial publications like Forbes's annual list of the world's billionaires.